Your favorite guest host star is here, Katie. You guys have been blowing up my notifications about Katie returning to the channel. And I thought, what better way <laughs> to have Katie return than for the most ridiculous video I've done yet. So I'm really excited for Halloween. I love Halloween. Katie um, loves the idea of costumes and things like that and just like fantasy makeup. And because we love our pumpkin spice lattes and everything about fall, oh, yes. I thought for sure it would be a wonderful idea if we did a Halloween video together. So this is an attempt at mermaid makeup. Um, mermaids are beautiful creatures of the sea. I think they probably don't exist, but I like to, I'm a dreamer fan, so I like to pretend that I could be a mermaid. I'd be like their plus size friend floating alongside them but just like that, just like that. <laughs> and um, so this is going to be a big endeavor and it's going to involve a lot of products I will do my best to list all of the products used below but if for some reason I miss one and you're not finding what you're looking for in the comments down below or in the description box below please be sure to leave me a comment like hey Morgan I saw you use this product it did this. I don't see it in the description box. Can you tell me what it was? And I will, of course, answer all of those questions to the best of my ability. Um, but I do want to talk about some of the products we are going to use before we get started. Um, of course, with a product like project like this, it cannot be drugstore makeup. Uh, you can buy these some of these brands at Walmart and things right now because it's Halloween season. So that is why we're using them but um or a Halloween store will sell most of these items as well so we're going to be using a few different things this is the Moran that's M H R O M E H R O N the clown white face paint from them um, and then I have two palettes from them as well that are specifically designed this is their Brilliant palette, their pastel palette, so a gorgeous palette, and some mermaid -y type colors here as well. These are um, powder to cream, so you do have to get these wet. Uh, we have a spray bottle for that. So um, if you see me spraying something, that is what I'm doing. I am getting these a little bit wet for our usage, and of course, you can see my giant studio light but um i'm gonna go ahead and wash my face with some micellar water and then we are gonna get started so just like in our last coaching katie video um i kind of gave instructions through the tutorial and katie followed those instructions tried to follow those instructions <laughs> <laughs> that is what we're going to go ahead and try to do today to the best of our ability um some basic things that you will need for this regardless of what brands of like colors and makeup or whatever you choose to use you will need two things for sure you're going to need some of these cosmetic wedges um like the foam sponges that you know here I'm gonna... i feel like everybody knows what these... oh here there's one okay so these are just like the little foam wedges um everybody has seen these in their life because these are great for applying glitter and then you'll also need a pair of nylon fishnet pantyhose. <gasps> oh, yes, that's right. At some point in this video, we will look like we're about to rob a very glamorous bank. So don't worry. I will not ever rob a bank because ain't nobody got time for that. So anywho, so pantyhose, wedges, absolutely a necessity. Everything else is kind of like however you make it work for yourself. So here we go. So I'm going to start out by using my, of course, Hard Candy Primer Mist, just to spray it all over my face. And pat it in with a sponge.
So from there, we're going to take a little Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth Primer. Oh, Lord. And apply that all over the face. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to do foundation. And you guys are like, what? Really? Oh, no, I need to conceal. Should I conceal? I should conceal. We're going to conceal. Just kidding. For concealer, I'm going to use the Femme Couture Get Covered Maximum Coverage Concealer. It's available to you at Sally's. It comes in a pot. It is super, super intense. I like polka dotted. Perfect. And you can be as generous slash liberal as you want with this concealer because this you're changing your entire canvas for this type of makeup situation so so I do go ahead and go on into my eyelid area because we are going to really need a really like covered eyelid so I'm just gonna blend for probably the next hour and a half to get this you know even looking Alright, I think that's probably enough concealer. And now we're going to put on foundation from like the corner of our eyes down. The outer corner of our eyes down. Pretty heavily. You want a really full face. Katie. I'm listening. Well, here we go. You said you wanted it heavily, Morgan. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to set our foundation like we normally would, except for this time I'm using the e.l.f. HD powder, because translucent powder, because it's more white and um, I kind of want a little bit of a pale look for this. So I'm going to use my sponge to apply it underneath my eye. I'm going to put it a little bit even onto the, my upper eyelid, near my eyebrow. Although we will end up glowing for the gods, we can maybe hold off on our foundation doing that. So then I'm going to take my Real Techniques little brush here and I'm going to get a little bit on and do the rest of my face. And so I'm going to take this little spatula on the end of my tart brush. I'm going to pick up just a little bit of the white. Put it on the back of my hand and add just a tiny bit of foundation so that it's a little bit smoother to work with. So it won't be perfectly white, but that's okay because I only wanted the white so that I could put other stuff over it and it would the color would really, really come through. So um, I'm going to try that. I'm going to let... Kitty, watch that because in case that doesn't work, I don't want her to be stuck with it, also. So, ah, move on, is what you look like right now. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, I just added a teensy tiny bit of foundation right there. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in like little stripes on my forehead. I'm gonna try and blend <laughs> it out with my sponge. My face was so close. I would say that that is fairly white still. So. so you think it's going to work then? Yeah. Do you want me to do that? Yeah. Do you want to mix it all in my hand? For me? Okay. <laughs> and I am going to go ahead and blend it into my hairline so that it does look a little bit more natural. Like not onto the hair, but like right up to it. So as you can see, it is much lighter here it is down here which will come in use in just a few minutes when we put pantyhose on our faces so i'm going to use the pressed version of the same powder and kind of just like press to set it Hopefully it works. yes don't wear a shirt that you're afraid to ruin Okay, he's going to do the same. 
I'm gonna get the makeup off my hand. <laughs> there's, there's a secret glitter stash around here somewhere. <laughs> Where did you go? Oh, I have pink all over me. Where did the pink glitter come from? I don't even know if I have pink glitter. So for this, I am going to be using a lot of the ColourPop. Um, this is going on Friday, Tuesdays slash Wednesdays video is um, about ColourPop. So these are colors I've already talked to you guys about. Um, this is a brand that you know I'm in love with right now. I'm obsessed. And um, I'm going to start out by basically, I'm going to cut a really high crease. I want like an on purpose, like super big over the top eye. So I'm going to use the shade Cop A Feel. <laughs> we are using the Shadow Insurance Eye Primer. And I am taking it out pretty far past the corner of the eye by about a quarter to a half of an inch. All the way up to the eyebrow. I think that color was a little light because of how like, the lighting is in here. So instead I'm going to use the shade Cornelius and do the same thing. a little bit better. You can for sure see kind of the crease I've carved out there. And we're just going to lightly carve that out and blend down towards the lid. And Katie's going to start trying to follow this tutorial. <laughs> and that will be the highest point of our crease. Right there. So anything that's darker we're going to add just below that. Now I'm going to use the shade Belladonna Lily, which is a color like this, and um, I'm going to start building up that crease. We are going for a very bold look, obviously, for our mermaid Halloween makeup, so feel free to add as much as you could possibly imagine a mermaid would have. bright colors that you want to work with is fine. It doesn't have to be this shade. It could be blue, it could be blues, it could be purples, it could be pinks. I mean, mermaids come in a variety of shades. I feel like we all know that. And then I'm going to take a big fluffy blending brush. You were frustrating. No, I just don't know if I'm doing it right. So I'm panicking. And then I'm going to just try. Katie's doing great, you guys. <laughs> then I'm going to take a big fluffy blending brush and I'm going to blend right without any yeah, without any color on it, I'm going to try and blend the two together. It doesn't have to be perfect. Exhibit A. Exhibit B. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take the shade Snapdragon. Take Snapdragon, and I'm going to really deepen up the crease. And of course, I won't take this as high as I took Belladonna Lily. I'm just going to put it really maybe about right here. And just above where my actual crease starts. And really work it. Work it, girl. And I'll bring that right into the inner corner and really pat it in there. Like so. Okay. Katie's actually doing really well. She thinks she's in trouble, but she's doing fine. What did you just say to them? I didn't say anything to them. And once you're starting to look like you are of the sea, uh, go ahead and find uh, something darker in the color shade you're looking for. So I actually have this heart candy, so it is from the drugstore palette. It's called Aphrodisiac, <laughs> appropriate. And it has this really bright blue green color in it right here. It's gorgeous and it goes perfectly within our color group. So I'm going to take, again, using that same brush, and I'm just going to do the outer half of my crease and really darken that bad baby up. And as 
as I get to the outside, I am going to, on purpose, kind of pull it out in a little bit of a cat eye shape. So just a little bit of a triangle out, just kind of drag it out a little bit. So down and drag. What face did you just give him? Stop. We got this fam working together. So yeah, just a little bit of a soft wing effect, you know. At this point you're going to feel like you have an extremely bold, extremely bright look on your eyes. You're doing great. Now on this eye, this eye not so much. I was good too. Okay, I just don't match. Okay, That's so you'll notice there's a little bit of like everything happening right now. But this is where things, I think, get really, really fun. I thought you were going to say hard, and I was like, ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> no, we haven't gotten there. I know. <laughs> so, I have this shade called Coconut, which is, oh, yas queen. Everything. On our lid. Oh, on our lid. And um, we're going to use that almost on the complete lid, and we're going to take a flat eyeshadow brush like this. See that. So this one. That one. She's yes. got it. And I'm going to gently pull across so it looks like I've got a fair amount of product. Color prop is so soft you have to be drill dental with them, so. Okay. And then I'm going to start about halfway through the lid. I'm going to gently pat it on up to the crease and then pull down towards the outer V. So just to really start that happening. Take your time. I know that's hard to say because we're always trying to rush through things in life. But really take your time. As I get to the outer section, I'm going to again pull that in a little bit of a wing shape, just very gently, with the very tip of this flat brush, just very gently. And then repeat for the other eye. Okay, so now I'm going to take the e.l.f. Glitter Primer. Um, this stuff is amazing. You guys have heard me talk about it, but I've never actually used it. Okay, so now I'm going to take my glitter primer and with my finger, something I'm comfortable with. I'm going to apply it to the area of my lid from the inner corner all the way up to where I put coconut. You can be fairly liberal with it. You can even put it a little bit in your inner corner. And then on a flat brush that I have sprayed with the Hard Candy Primer that's a little bit easier to pick stuff up with. Too Faced Glamour Dust in the shade Blue Angel. I'm just going to tap my brush down in there and you'll see I get a ton of glitter just right on the brush. And I'm going to gently pat that onto the area where I put the glitter primer. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> this is what I use on you for Elsa. Mm -hmm. You're basically just like a shining beam of happiness. Ah, ha, ha, let me! <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. There's no such thing as too much glitter, so basically add as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> I love it on Katie so much! It looks really good on you too. It looks freaking sweet. I on know! You. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Oh, this is so fun. Glitter makes everything better. <laughs> okay. So now we need to dust away all the excess underneath our eyes. Everything. So I'm going to not get out this, but I actually have one of these little, like, oval type brushes. Um, and I'm just going to use that too. I'm just going to use that to dust everything away. Because it's real gentle and it's really effective. Boom. 
it should leave the lower half of your face just like basically flawless looking. And I don't have multiple of these. It's okay, it's just the same one. It's okay, we forgive you. And now I'm going to make sure I put my lids back on all these ColourPop shadows because they are such moist, wet shadows. You have to be very, very careful about making sure they get closed properly. You know what that reminds me of? Mm -hmm. The Hercules when they're trying to cut his. Why aren't you cutting? Yeah, that's what that reminds me of. Stupid scissors. Are you ready? No. <laughs> I'm gonna look like an idiot. Come on, fam. We're doing it together. This is the most glamorous part about being a mermaid. <laughs> so, basically, this is, I think, going to be the hardest part. Because you want to make sure... Oh, gosh. It's, like, on my eyelashes. That's the worst part. My eyelashes are poking out. <laughs> okay, so you want to make sure that your netting is stretched out enough that it could look like little... Scales. And you also want to make sure you don't have any, like, hairs tucked inside your netting because then it'll make some weird designs. So you want to look for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our palettes that we talked about early on and we're going to spray them using a spritz bottle. And that makes them wet. And then we're going to take a sponge and apply them. And um, we're going to start with... I think this blue and maybe add some purple here and then go from there okay so I'm just going to stir that here I'm just going to take my sponge and I'm going to apply it at my temple like where you would contour that's where you should do this so where you would contour so you're going to just tap yep 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 just right into that area And then it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical because I don't think you would have perfectly symmetrical scales. Probably not. I mean, it doesn't seem like it would. So I'm just going to go at it again. Uh. Oh, it looks so cool! <laughs> I can see where it's... Like that. <gasps> can I get some? Yep. Oh, and Katie's going to get some, yeah, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'm just going to do a little bit to connect it. Oh, here, let me spray it again. It's just dry. You do have to spray these a lot. And then, here, let me spray. I'm just going to dab them together. Okay, so just like that. Now I'm going to add some of the purple shade here at the bottom. And again, this is the Pastels palette, so that's why these are a little bit more subdued colors. And because this is a little bit darker, I am going to add it like towards the outside of my little scales. And bring it a little ways in, but not too far. I don't have as big as a forehead as you. No, you don't. <laughs> okay, so now in our metallics palette, we're going to use this really bright purple. At the very edge, just going to bring it in, and then back out, and then bring it in. Okay, and I'm gonna actually going to remove this so that I can do my contour. Wow, that's so cool! <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That looks pretty friggin' sick. <gasps> I love it so much! Katie. Bro, that's so cool. This is so cool, you guys. Okay, and so then stretch this out like you would a headband and try and put it on. Apparently with ease. You're Katie. Oh god. And then pull it up into like your cheek contour area. Okay, and I'm a freaking mermaid. Oh, life goals. And then to do 
Kay's cracking me up. <laughs> to do our contour, we're going to go with the same shades. Because you would contour with the same shades. Normally, it just makes sense. Take my fishy face. Haha, <laughs> fishy face. Ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> and use that to guide my contour. Okay, and then we're going to go back in with our lighter purple. And then our metallic. I just sprayed it. And then you're going to pull from the top, up, and down, and then like a headband. I feel like the queen mermaid, really, though. So, I mean, not, not because <laughs> she isn't a queen, but just like, like these colors, like the glitter, like the glam. It makes me feel like this glorious queen. This is like the part I'm the most, like, kind of, not quite like the most excited about, but like I'm really 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 excited to do this it's like so cool <laughs> it looks so cool we're very excited about this yeah, yeah. i think we're gonna do purple brows we're gonna use the same metallic purple we use for like the deepest part of our contouring with this and oh my gosh i am just like in love we're gonna like have to like shoot some serious footage of this like after this gosh this is so cool <laughs> i am going to go ahead and use a spoolie to kind of comb out my brow. <laughs> Just because I don't actually have any brows, Katie. I, I'm so sorry. I, I really tried to hold it in, but I was like, you can't hold that in. That's funny. Okay, also, in case you guys are wondering what I think is going on with my brows lately, I am trying to grow them out. So, like, I'm not going to nair them, <laughs> wax them, shave them, anything for a while. Yes. And then I'm going to take this angled brush. I do have a second one. I'm just going to do my brows like I normally would. Katie doesn't do brows, so use. Oh gosh. Start from the bottom. Now we Oh, I looked right to the light. Mistakes. This is gonna be so fun. We're just basically tinting her brows. We're not giving her eyebrows. She obviously has plenty. A brow. Katie's got a great brow to work with in life. I'm just casually slaying the mermaid life over here. Just super cash. Super cash. Super cash. <laughs> the next is a super exciting part for me. The glitter. And I have some different shades here that I think that will work great. I'm gonna mix some glitter colors together. I have like purple, so I have like an emeraldy green color. I have the glitter we used on our eyes earlier. And then I have like a white glitter. And I think we're gonna use a purple as well. So now I've got like a custom glitter shade in here. And we're gonna use the same little smudgy. And we are going to try and build up some glitter on our scales. So I just want some sparkle. Uh, so glitter, I would say, if you really want metallic, super glittery, I would put on a dry glitter while this is still wet. I think that would have worked better because I think it would have adhered a little bit better. This is still pretty. <laughs> this is still pretty. This is still gorgeous. Super excited about it. It's just like I think I would approach the glitter differently next time. Plus now I've got glitter all over myself. So that's great. And um, okay, what is Next, ooh, next we're gonna highlight. Oh my gosh. I'm this is the <laughs> Mega Glow Illuminating Palette from Wet n Wild. I love this palette, and I love how many glow options you get, and it's got some really great ones. So I'm gonna use these two lightest shades and just kind of like mix them together. And there's no such thing as too much glow for a mermaid. So we gonna wanna get to glow in. So, of course, the nose. Shine, baby shine. And wow. then the top of the cheapo. 
casually blinding you with a highlight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> also, if you want a little bit of a pinkness to your cheeks and still want a little glow, there's like a pretty like blushy color that I'm just gonna add like right underneath my highlight that is still super glowy, but makes my cheeks have a little bit more color to them. But still glowing for the gods. Katie's okay, just like, would you just give me the highlighter? <laughs> No, Would you just let me glow to the gods, Morgan? <laughs> She's just gonna glow on her own. And Asle, 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 Asle. Okay, we need to finish our eyeballs. You're like, wait, I thought you finished those hours ago. Nope. Oh my gosh, look how much glitter is on my chest. There's so much glitter on my chips, chest. I might as, I might be dancing for money. Okay, that's how much glitter is on my chest right now. What we're going to do is I'm going to take a white eyeliner and I'm going to eyeline my waterline. Brings out a little bit of the under eye, don't you think? Yeah, I think it looks nice. Okay, and then for our waterline, we're going to go back in and get a little bit of the purple we used for our eyebrows, for our contour, all of the things. We're just gonna put that right underneath the waterline, just right there. I really like this. Can I be a mermaid for Halloween? <gasps> How cute would that be? Hey, comment down below if you think it would be cute if I was a mermaid for Halloween and my husband was a fisherman and he caught me. Wouldn't that be so cute? Oh, I bet he won't go for it. We are high key slaying this look. This isn't even low key anymore. We are high key slaying this. Okay, and then using the same brush, I'm gonna go into my highlighter palette. I'm going to grab the lightest shade right here. I'm gonna load my brush up with it. And I'm gonna do the rest of my lower lash line that way. All right, so for lashes, we are going to be doing false lashes. Katie has giant lashes. I literally don't even know if her face will work with false lashes, but I did buy the Kiss. This is the Kiss Lashes Style 11, and um, I did buy a giant multi-pack of them. Okay, so I'm going to do lashes. We have decided. Katie has way too much lash already. She'll need to do this with her life. So I'm going to apply the lashes right at the lash line. And they're going to fall off. And I'm going to try again. What? Is that a lot of lash? <laughs> Is that what my lashes always look like? Basically. Okay, one lash down, another to go. So now that my lashes are on, I'm actually going to pop. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to apply this Get Up and Grow One Coat Mascara from Almay, and Katie is actually just going to use the Purple Better Than Sex Mascara that is exclusive to the Nikki Tutorials collection. And I'm only going to put this on my top and then I'm going to use the purple on the bottom. So do I put on both my right? Yeah, you're going to do it on both of yours. And um, I'm just going to blend my lashes together with mascara. Okay, and then Purple Mascara. And then now I'm going to apply my lips. I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Subversive Social Light. And then I'm going to ombre it with Jeffree Star's Virginity. And then I'm going to take, while well she does that, I'm going to take Virginity and I'm going to apply it with a brush because I don't want to get really, really dark. Um, I don't want to get this really, really dark lip color like permanently attached to this shade. So I'm going to take a clean brush. I'm just going to wipe some of this off. And if you don't know, Virginity is from his summer collection. And so it's like that in the center. And then I'm just going to blend it. And I do use my fingers mostly to blend it. So. Um, are we slaying or what? <laughs> oh, I cannot even. Definitely. Oh, Katie, we did it. I have coached you through yet another possible disaster. <laughs> mm. 
I think I did pretty good except for the brows and the lips, but that's okay. The brows, okay, but Katie literally has so much brow she's never put on a brow before in her life. So I mean, I think we can get rid of that. But I mean, she killed it. I think for sure this was like an easier, this was somehow easier for you to follow than well, because I have a lot more experience with makeup now than I did then. That's true. It's been months since the last time we did this. So, I'm super proud of Katie. And um, these mermaid looks are <laughs> unreal, y'all. We glow. I mean, yes. I think I want to be a mermaid for Halloween now. I think I just want to be a mermaid I, in general. I guess, mermaid in general. <laughs> but, I mean, especially for Halloween, I think now. For sure. Um, yeah, do you think, I mean, any announcements? Do we have any? I don't think so. Um, so this is a Halloween video. The goal is to put up a Halloween video every week from this week until Halloween. So we're going to start out with the mermaid because I was just so excited to film it and Katie was super excited for me to film it and we just, we had to. We slayed the mermaid. So if you think that the next coaching Katie should be, you know, like a witch or more Halloween stuff. If you think we, I should bring her back and we do this together every time, leave a comment down below. And um, again, I'm Morgan and this is Katie. And this is Tensley Trials. We are a body positive, predominantly drugstore using beauty channel. And if you click that subscribe button right down below, you can get your trial membership today. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.